Breaking news. FBI writes letter about Tinumbu's drug trafficking allegations. Do welcome to today's news. And thank you for tuning in to the news. But please don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell for more updates. Now to the news details. This listen carefully to the end. Jeffrey Gutterman, a retired American mental health counselor, I said Federal Bureau of Intelligence, FBI, turned down his request to release file on Nigerian president-elect Bola Tinubu. Gutterman had asked the FBI to shed more light on Tinubu's $460,000 for future following a drug trafficking case he had in the United Kingdom. Gutterman, who appeared disappointed with the response, said his request was rejected by the FBI on the grounds that it is an unwarranted invasion of Tinumbu's privacy. He shared, taken to his, pardon, Taking to his verified Twitter handle, the health counselor disclosed his request was rejected because, according to the FBI, the assistance of files on third-party individuals will neither be confirmed or denied by the FBI due to unwarranted invasion of personal privacy. He, however, promised to consider his next plan of action, which he failed to disclose in his tweets. He said that he received a copy of the letter from the FBI regarding his requests, based on the Freedom of Information Act for the FBI file on Bola Tinumbu. My request was rejected. I found it noteworthy that in my online submission, I, re I referred to Tinubu as Bola Tinubu, but in their letter, the FBI referred to him as Tinubu Bola Ahmed. How would the FBI assess the Ahmed part of his name? Again, I did not provide the Ahmed part of his name in my submission. However, moreover, it is public knowledge that the FBI has a file on Tinubu for his $460,000 for future to the U.S. The letter also states that if I received their response through standard mail, which I did, this is because my online submission did not meet their terms of service. According to the letter, my options are to 1 submit any questions by email or call their office. Two, administratively appeal their decision within 90 days of the date of their letter. And or three, seek dispute resolution by email. I will now consider my next plan of action, he said. The FBI Dr. wrote that see below a copy of the letter I received today from the at FBI regarding my requests based on the Freedom of Information Act for the FBI file on Bola Tinubu. The letter also states that if I've received their response through standard mail, this means that my online submission did not meet their terms of service. Gutterman's plan B is to resort to the courts, hoping it could compel the FBI to retrieve Tinumbu's drug trafficking files. One of his tweets in response to David, an investigative journalist, read, Perhaps I could contact at Night Columbia to see if they would take those requests to courts. They helped many of us get unblocked by Trump through a court order.
And in the letter, it was said that, Dear Gutterman, this acknowledges receipt of your Freedom of Information Act request to the FBI. You have requested records on one or more third party individuals. Please be advised the FBI will neither confirm nor deny the existence of such records pursuant to FOIA exemptions. The more acknowledgement of the existence of FBI records on third party individual could reasonably be expected to constitute an unwarranted invasion of private of the personal privacy. Subsections of Title V, United States Code, Section 552, Subsection B1 says, A. Specifically authorized under criteria established by an executive order to be kept secret in the interest of national defense or foreign policy, and B. Are in fact properly classified to such executive order. Jeffrey Gutterman had, had interest in the presidential candidates be, since the beginning of the presidential campaign in Nigeria. And he saw that the only person in which can be the president of Nigeria was Peter Obi. But after Tinubu was sworn in, he went to dig out information concerning Tinumbu, what he has done. He wrote a letter to FBI concerning the file of the drug trafficking of Tinumbu so that he could have a pure evidence. But the FBI did not release the file because the belief is a third party and it can use it to constitute nuisance or the personal invasion of the person. And now he said he has another plan. What is next plan? We have come to the end of the news. What's your view? Please share your comments in the comment section. Thank you.